Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Today we're talking about the Cleveland RTX Zipcore wedges, uh, the new wedges from Cleveland here in 2020. And we're going to talk specifically about the three different sole grind options available on these wedges. Um, they've got a low sole, they've got a mid sole, and they've got a full sole. Uh, they're going to fit differently. They're going to fit different types of turf conditions. They're going to fit different types of swing and attack angles as well. So Thomas is joining me here today to talk about uh, each one and which type of players uh, they're going to fit into specifically. So um, we'll start here. I've got the low sole, which we've got a 56 degree here in particular uh, for this model. But the low sole is six degrees of bounce. There's some relief on the heel and toe uh, and also kind of on that trailing edge. So what type of player and maybe the turf conditions as well would a player be using uh, for this wedge? Yeah, so starting off with turf conditions, um, typically you would be playing on a little firmer conditions. Um, there is available, I believe it's a 56, 58, and 60 mm -hmm. only with the low. So it's more of those clubs that you like to open and close yeah. that club face for around the green. So typically someone that's more of a picker, playing on firmer conditions would be would fit more into the low sole. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the midsole is kind of the next one here, and that seems to be generally, based on looking at it, it's kind of that, uh, that shape that is used for full swings, right? So there's a lot more of those, that kind of gap to pitching wedge lofts available with this grind. Um, and it's gonna be a lot, a lot of the times used for that full swing, right? So uh, anybody that wants to play like a 48, 50, 52 degree, like this in their bag is gonna want the midsole in that wedge. Yes, there is a midsole from 46, 48, 50, 52, 56, mm -hmm. six, yeah. 58, 60, all the way through. Yeah. So every single loft available by two, two degree increments, you've got the midsole, because as you said, that's more of the club that you typically would hit a full swing from the 46 through to like say the 54. That's the reason why there's no uh, low, uh, is because, because typically you don't really open and close that club there as well. So. It is more for that player that is maybe not looking so much for versatility, but more kind of just kind of straight back, straight through, mm -hmm. chipping back, back foot, back off the back foot, um, but also giving you a little bit of relief there, there as well. Yeah, because one of the things to note when you do open up a wedge with a sole grind like that, which is that midsole, that bounce is really going to be increased right away. And so, like if you open up on you know like dry turf or firm conditions, for example it's going to be a lot tougher to get the club underneath than say with a low sole or if you open it up that bounce does still kind of sit down on the ground a little bit and you're able to slide the club underneath so uh, moving on then to the full sole is you know a little bit wider on the sole in terms of shaping uh, ideally suited for kind of the bunker shots we uh, hit some bunker shots uh, with this club in particular the full sole and it's that's the kind of that it's going to really hit that sand and and really dive underneath there to help you pop that ball in the air so ideally suited for that what other type of uh, characteristics would you see someone playing the full sole yeah full sole exactly like you said softer sand typically is what I like to see so there's more bounce on this club so when I was hitting that 60 there was 12 degrees of bounce um, so when you do open up that face normally what's happened you're actually adding a little bit more bounce there as well I think bounce is your friend. Bounce right. is definitely forgiveness is kind of what you know we, we all need, um, but it gives you a little bit extra help also to get through that turf. So a player that is say more of a digger or taking a little bit more turf in, turf interaction would fit more into the the full sole mm -hmm. as well and say the, um, the I think it's 54 through 60 is where it is available. Yeah, and one of the things too that we should mention is that you know most players are not going to fit into the same sole grind for all their wedges, right? Because golfers use their wedges differently. Like some players will use you know, their 56 degree for as many shots as possible and maybe only use their 60 degree for bunker shots, which in that case, then you want that full sole for that 60. So if you want that bunker shot uh, to play as effectively as possible, you have that. Uh, some people like to use you know, their 60 degree for everything and they want as much versatility there as possible. In that case, you get the low, uh, the low sole in that 60 degree. So it all depends on how you use your wedges. And in most cases, what really works best for you is to have all three different grinds throughout your wedge set. Yeah, you, you basically hit it on the nail right there. Versatility is very, very important in a bag. So I don't typically play all the same, the same mid, mid, mid all the way through. I might change it up a little bit. So my high loft of wedges, I might have a little more bounce because I like to open that face up. Mm -hmm. I like to hit out the soft sand. I like to take a little bit of the divot. But with those longer clubs, so for example, my pitching wedge, gap wedge, I don't need that much bounce on those clubs. They're kind of just more that square face club essentially so 
the reason it's important to have different bounce, different grinds in your bag to give you a little bit of versatility because you're not always playing the same golf course every single time too. Right, and these are p perhaps your most important clubs in your bag, right? Besides, I guess, the putter that you use 40% of the time or whatever it is, but your wedges. I would say these are the most important clubs yeah. in your bag because these get you to make exactly. the putts. So without exactly. these shots, you're not going to hit close. Right, you know, your, a lot of your birdies are from your wedges, right? You're hitting your, out of the, maybe out of the fairway, you have a scoring opportunity or on a par five, you're maybe up there close to the green and you can get up and down for birdie. Uh, same with, you know, saving par. A lot of times you miss the green, have to get up and down for par. That's where also the wedges come in handy. So clearly it's important that the wedges are fit for your game, your swing. Cleveland RTX Zipcore wedges, new for 2020, provide some technology, some great feel, and three different sole grind options that can help you dial in your wedge game, start making more pars and more birdies out on the course. Uh, and coming to second swing, talking to someone like Thomas is gonna really help you do that. So Thomas, thank you for providing the insight today.